Little Robot Alone, written by Patricia McLaughlin and Emily McLaughlin Cherist, illustrated by Matt Thielen. Little Robot lived in a white house on a green hill by a blue pond. Every morning, he put on his tracks, one by one, tight and strong, rolling, strolling all day long. He charged his battery, zippity, zappity, crickety, crackety, hum, hum, hum. And he sang his cheerful breakfast song. Oats with oozy oil are yummy, slipping slowly down my tummy. Little Robot had a peaceful life. He watched the birds fly over his white house. He watched the squirrels race on the green hill. He watched the fish splash in the blue pond. But he felt alone. One night, Little Robot dreamed of a smooth, shiny shape. When he woke in the morning, he had an idea. First, he put on his tracks. One by one, tight and strong, rolling, strolling all day long. He charged his battery. Zippity, zappity, crickety, crackety, hum, hum, hum. He sang his cheerful breakfast song. Oats with oozy oil are yummy, slipping slowly down my tummy. Then Little Robot began. Here's my bag, an oily rat. Pegs, glue, where are you? Battery, screws, a handy wrench. I'll put them all upon my bench. Little Robot bent the metal into a shape. He used a screwdriver to attach the ends. He worked and worked and worked. Finally, on his bench was something smooth and shiny. It had four wooden legs and a button. Little Robot pressed the button. Nothing. Little Robot pressed the button again. Nothing. Little Robot thought hard. He had more to do. He rolled to his bag of treasures. He found two bright marbles, some soft wool, and a small broom. Then he worked and worked and worked. Little Robot took a deep breath. He added tracks and squirted them with oil. One by one, tight and strong, rolling, strolling all day long. He charged the battery. Zippity, zappity, crickety, crackety, hum, hum, hum. His new thing shook. The broom wagged. Little Robot jumped back. He pressed the button. And his new thing leaned over and licked Little Robot on his smooth metal cheek. Can you talk? asked Little Robot softly. Woof, it said. Little Robot reached out and patted the smooth, shiny body. Welcome home, he whispered. My friend? Little Robot rolled outside. Little Dog is here, he called out. The birds flew down to see. The squirrels on the green hill came close. The fish in the blue pond had a look. Little Dog sniffed the air.
he watched the birds. He wagged his broom tail at the squirrels and the fish. As the stars came out, Little Robot and Little Dog rolled into their white house and under a moonlit quilt. Good night, Little Dog, whispered Little Robot. His friend was already asleep. Sleep happy, sleep well, until the night's end, my good little dog, my good little friend. The end. Hope you enjoyed this story read by me, Star. Until next time, keep reading.